Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Kevin Holbrook. When making changes to files, it is often a burden on the user to understand what other files are affected by a change. This could require the user to have to enter into another business system to do the search. Naturally, in SOLIDWORKS, we're used to relationships. Parts to assemblies, drawings to parts and assemblies. In SOLIDWORKS PDM, we can view those relationships in two tabs called Where Used and Contains. When I select a part, I can easily see where it's used and the relationship between the SOLIDWORKS file. If I look at Contains, I can select the drawing and see what parts are contained on that drawing. Now there are other natural relationships that are automatically built in the software world. For instance, I have a Word document that contains an Excel file. This is nothing more than an Excel file that's embedded in the Word document. And again, we're able to see both the contains and the where used. Those are created naturally. Now what about relationships that are not natural? Here's an example of an NC file for CNC code that's related to a DWG. This didn't happen automatically because I created a text file and I have a DWG, I had to create the relationship. In SOLIDWORKS PDM, we're allowed to create these relationships manually. We create these relationships to make it easy to understand when a change will occur and affect other documents. So here's how it happens. If I wanted to modify this drawing in this part as part of an ECO process, what I can do in SOLIDWORKS PDM is right click, copy the file, go to the other document I want to create the relationship between, in this case an ECO, right click on it, paste as reference. Once I have the reference and I check the file into the vault, I now have a relationship between the ECO and the documents and in the reverse order between the documents and the ECO. Using paste as reference will help you create an easy way to understand documents affected by a change. Thanks for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. Be sure to keep an eye out for next week's session. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.